My name is Abraham Lopez and I'm a senior at Streamer High School. I was born here in America and I left uh, America when I was eight years old. My parents' immigration status wasn't really too good so we had to leave and all of my family had moved to Mexico. So my parents like, were worried about our future. The educational status wasn't too great and that's when I had to make the toughest decision to leave my parents behind and start a better future here. And it was really heartbreaking. It was not too easy for me because I have to face some difficulties, especially when living without my parents. So it's a quote that my dad used to say, to keep us motivated. Nunca para atrás, siempre para adelante. In English it means always forward, never backwards. He always said that to us because he didn't want us to give up. He wanted a better future for us because my parents had a really tough life and he didn't really want that for his kids. When I turned 16, I started my first job. It was going to help me to buy school supplies, lunch. I never wanted my uncle to have too much pressure because he was working a lot too and I just wanted to help him out. When I grow up, I really want to be an architect. It's been like a dream that I really want to make, make it true. My name is uh, Julian Jarmula and I'm a senior at Elgin High School. I have two immigrant parents who came here from Poland in the 90s, mainly to make my life and my brother's life better. Both my father and my mother didn't speak English. So seeing how they came here in America without an education primarily, and them having to work really hard, it really motivated me to be academically successful so that I could basically repay their sacrifices. It was definitely difficult to, to learn English, especially at a young age when I was so used to speaking Polish at my household. And it really shaped my beliefs of just working hard in order to overcome this challenge of learning a second language. I'm attending Northwestern University and planning to major in chemical engineering. It means a lot to me to receive this scholarship because it's really enforcing this idea that being uh, academically successful and doing well in school, it really does pay off. My name is Natalie Gonzalez. I'm a senior at Elgin High School. Both of my parents were born in Mexico and they immigrated here. When I was a sophomore, my mom was diagnosed with a blood cancer called multiple myeloma, and that's uh, taken a big toll on like our family. I've used it as motivation to keep going with my studies and not letting that like tear me down. When it came time for me to go to high school, my parents encouraged me to try out wrestling for a year and if I didn't like it, I could just drop it. I fell in love with it. It's my favorite sport. You get to pick people up and throw them and then <laughs> it's like a discipline thing too. It's taught me so much. The first eye-opener in wrestling was when I first lost. Then I realized that like, there's so many more matches, like it just doesn't end here. It's like life, like you have so many opportunities that if something bad happens, that's not the be all end all, you just keep going. I'm planning on going to Aurora University to wrestle on their women's wrestling team and double major in criminal justice and psychology. It means a lot for me to have received this scholarship because it seems like I am being seen by other people for my hard work and my achievements. And it means a lot to have people that actually want to contribute to me going into adulthood. I dream to be an architect. I dream to be an elementary school teacher. I dream to be a computer engineer. An accountant. A neurosurgeon. An x-ray technician. Financial advisor. A chemical engineer. Behavioral neuroscientist. An ethologist. A dual language first grade teacher. I dream to be an FBI special agent. For all the dreamers out there, go for it.